<laughs> they telling right, me I can't get my swipe up. Listen, man, listen, man. <laughs> let's get to the good shit, though, man. Sharp and whack. Let's get to it. Okay. Well, uh, no, it's not here, right? Yeah. I need you. I mean, I feel like we know what happened, though. I need Flocka to explain a couple things to me, because from uh, here's what I know. Mm -hmm. Let me know where I'm wrong here. Yeah. From what I heard, Sharp, academics, mm -hmm. have beef, right? Yeah. They get a club ho clubhouse call to continue talking about the beef or try to resolve no. it. No, 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 I'm already wrong here. Yeah. I heard that this started from a clubhouse call. Yes, kind of, yes, yes, okay. yes. So pretty much, so I think Sharp came on clubhouse once. Whack interviewed him about the acting, right? Cool. Okay, okay. That came and passed. Now Sharp, Sharp, you know, I guess he he you know like took like took a like in the clubhouse mm -hmm. and just started you know like coming back, right? Okay. So here's the thing that I learned, man. You don't try to save niggas who don't want to be saved, right? Mm -hmm. So Sharp was in the clubhouse room. Again, this is like after a couple days in of rapport. So like, and and you feel like you know people, right? Mm -hmm. So Sharp was trying to tell him, yo, listen, man, like you on clubhouse for 18 hours a day, nigga. You feel me? Yo, like, how you getting money? Are you monetizing this? Again, trying to save niggas who do, who don't want to be saved. Mm -hmm. They took that conversation, went back and told Wack that, yo, Sharp is trying to kick your back in and tell us to leave you. So Wack, like. Again, like justifiably, if you tell me that and I've known you, you right, way longer than I've known him, and you tell me that he's like, you know, like trying to regulate this room, yeah, which is my shit again, because 100 ANT is what well, put together a very great thing, right? Where it's it's okay. like 20 different houses that comes together and operate like a well-oiled machine. And that's able to operate because everybody knows their roles and do their jobs. Okay. You come in trying to throw the monkey wrench saying, yo, you, hey, bro, like, you should probably be getting paid. Yo, now guess what? If one person feels like I should be compensated for this, they're going to start acting up. Now, Now listen, I have seen WAC have actually compensated them, you know, in different rooms, right? But I guess WAC just took their word for it, even though Sharp was only trying to, like, help them. Wack took their word for it. They came and got at Sharp. And then during the conversation, a great miscommunication happened and took over and over the edge. What was it? So Sharp and Wack was talking about Sharp's, I guess, business and employment here, right? Okay. And Sharp was telling Wack like, you really not even like that in terms of business acumen. Wack took it as, yo, Sharp is saying, I'm not like that means on some street shit. Mm. So that's what Wack was like, what? Bro, I'm Pyro, you feel me, right? And then started going off, and then Wax said, yo, you know, like, if you play with me, I'll regulate it and bring 100 people up there each and every day to make sure you don't ever do another interview again. Now, And he wow. said, I got 50K for the fade. Where you at right now? Wow. And then, and then also said, like, you know, I'll have my nephew AD smack you on camera, which I don't think, think will happen, right? But then three, <laughs> now, here's where I don't like the narrative trying to be pushed, right? Because... What happened was this because Sharp was in their clubhouse, right? And they was muting him, mm. kicking him, making it seem like Sharp was being quiet, right? Or 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 backing down with no, like they kept on muting Sharp, kicking Sharp down, and then and then like when it comes to clubhouse, the person with the louder mics wins, right? So Wack probably on at one of these mics talking, right? Sharp is on his phone. So so like Wack voice is overpowering Sharp, making it look like Wack is, you know, kind of like Getting the better of Sharp now, yeah. like he was bound, bound. Yeah. Him. Now, where I feel like the narrative is kind of getting fucked up was when I think Act I came online and said, "Oh, you know, I hate people that I fuck with being bullied, bro. Like Sharp can't be bullied, bro. You feel me, right? Like, right? Like Sharp is not a weak nigga. You feel me? Like he's somebody who is who is tough. He's a lion as well, right? So, like he was saying Sharp was getting bullied. Or yeah, or yeah. Sharp was bullying. No, yeah. and he was saying that Sharp was being bullied. Yo, Josh, could you turn down my headphones a little bit? Right. And I just feel 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 like saying that was probably done in like tongue in cheek, trying to make Sharp look like you know he's like a peon, right? Which Sharp is not a peon, man. But you know, but how do y'all think this would turn out, man? Did they agree on this uh, fighting? Because that's what I heard. M bro, listen, man. Well, one, I don't think Sharp and Wack will will, will ever fight. Because one, like, bro, like Wack is a general, right? Meaning, like, Wack has gotten to a point where he's so respected that I don't think Wack is ever gonna be out here. Squabbling, you feel me? Remember that video of him fighting those two dudes on the street? Yes, though, but though, and he was by himself just operating, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's those playing squabble, whacking, come on. It bro. was like a couple of racist dudes. I think these are just two um, alpha men. 
that are having a back and forth that just a miscommunication that could be mm -hmm. cleared up. Yeah, I I would I would say so as well. But I have an interesting like a uh, Wack One Hundred story where he came in with Blueface a long time ago at our old office to do an interview and uh, in Santa Monica like during the Santa Monica days. And uh, Blueface, ha uh, they finished the interview. Blueface left, Adam left, everyone left. And it was just me and Lou, this old dude who used to work here, and WAC 100. And he was talking to us for like 20, 30 minutes inside. Then we're like closing it up, turning the lights off. We went outside. And then we yeah. had like another like 45 minutes, an hour conversation with him like outside. And it was just like, I was like. About what? I, dude, he was talking to us about the most craziest shit. So this shit. is like pre-Clubhouse, <laughs> but he was pretty much just having a Clubhouse conversation yes, yeah, with them yes. in real life. No, listen. And no. we were just standing there just like listening to him. And I was like, I can't believe Wack 100's talking to me for like 45 minutes. That's how he <laughs> is, though. Like, yeah, he'll, yeah. he'll give you game. He was sitting there telling me, breaking down how, because that when, I want to say the last time he came was a was a few days after I got followed home. So he's yeah. like, you need to get a gun. You need to do this. You need to live in this area. Like, oh he's basically God. telling me, like, you need to get out of your two, you can't, where you are right now, you don't need to be living there. There's too many people who will see you need to go somewhere. Like, best you know, like Calabasas, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chatsworth, like, Shh. back this way. You know, yeah. come over here. You can't be... You put it, you're basically telling me, like, you know, you're putting yourself... In danger. Exactly. Yeah. Get you a gun. And he was even telling me, like, I'll... Um, Five show months? you like yeah like i'll show you how to you know do everything do the permit and all that me and vastar was actually supposed to go to when when that conversation he a good happened dude, bro. he a good but then at yeah. the same time it's like sharp too like sharp be giving me a whole bunch of fucking games sharp yeah. be looking out for me and stuff like that we sit on the phone for hours i i was when i because i i look every morning i search whack 100 clubhouse and i let yeah. that shit play like it's the no radio <laughs> yeah. so when i seen that sharp and whack was having a conversation i'm like oh shit this is perfect mm -hmm. you know like yeah. just Two people just that just drop fucking game and gems and shit like that. You didn't that's expect hard. it to go south like that. Hell no! Though. And then and then Flacco, you can yeah. you can uh, contest it. Is look how short it, the time span. Yeah. They they talk, they met, and then boom, like it this started was just off so perfect. quick. It started off. So perfect. you think if this this conversation wasn't on Clubhouse, if it was just like a one on one phone call, it would have been way better. Like yeah, you're, you're saying the politics of, of the no, Clubhouse. I think Wack had to. He probably felt like because if he was get, I'm sorry, Flacco. No, 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 no. If Wack no. is waking up, because I heard on a part of the conversation, I heard um, them say that they was waking him up, or he or yeah. he said he woke up, you know, to it or whatever. Oh, okay. So he probably came in in defense because they was mm. like he talking crazy to us and you know. Da -da -da. You, gotta, you gotta go speak. When if you know yeah if you know Sharp then you know that he doesn't mean any harm mm -hmm. you know he just he literally just asking questions for clarity no but if true. if I if somebody come tell me my little brother is getting bullied by da da da, da I'm not yeah. asking no questions either I'm coming straight in no, on yeah. ten you know so it's probably just like literally like just a miscommunication and of course Whack is getting it secondhand and then he's taking it in his own interpretation and then they having a conversation and they having a match back and forth like you know like yelling at each other and shit so it can only it can only crash from there yeah not nah, bro it's insane right because like and this is like the second time in this week right where it's like yo whack a good dude yep but the people around whack like for example right uh and whack was told told like some got so like so and some youtuber i think it's i think it's jeezy jeezy miyaki, miyaki right like told whack yo man rockstar was talking about your family oh i saw that so Wax said what? Wax came to Clubhouse and went off on 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 you know like Rockstar twenty eight hundred because Wax took the word for it. It turned out Rockstar twenty eight hundred didn't say nothing mm -hmm. about Wax fam. And Jeezy Miyake mm. basically said like it was the way he wrote, worded it in a text or something that was misinterpreted oh, or something. Like, but something, why it was something doing like that? that? Yeah, it was something like that, Bruh, so But why you... even? But why even be messy and go exactly. and say you know whatever? Yeah. And then he said. But the don't concert. tell him I said it. Yo, that's crazy, right? <laughs> nah, that, nah, yeah, that's crazy. Don't tell him I said it. You gotta be confident if you like before you like start something yeah. like that. You gotta really know right. for sure. But no, they both two good dudes. We gotta yeah, I, right. I, I I pray that this don't go any further and nah. it's just a miscommunication. They can have a conversation and you know. I feel like it'll be resolved by the end of the day. Yeah, listen, right? Like <laughs> listen, like cause you know, like cause me and Wack, well, sorry, I had no issues with Wack, but Wack had issues with me, you feel me? Like like really early on, you feel me? And 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 now like he's somebody who like and I consider mm -hmm. Unc a, a mentor who who like who like like for example right like when academics and and me like had issues you know like me and Wack like and hop on the phone and Wack was the one who who kind of like it. right mm -hmm. 
And, you know, like he's, bro, like he gives great game, free game, and great advice, mm-hmm. and, advice and offline. And, you know, and, and me and him are in like kind of like communication for us to do mm-hmm. something, you know, mm-hmm. you right? Yeah. So, you know, if we started off on on the bad foot, you feel me? And he said, you know, and he said similar things to me about how, mm-hmm. yo, you in my backyard, a hundred goons can come up there, you feel me? And we were able to squash it. I think he meant, you know, like Sharp can definitely squash it. No, know? he a good guy. Like you said, yeah. he give you game and shit. That's why I listen every morning. And it'll be stuff that'll probably be unrelated to anything I'm doing. But mm-hmm. it's just shit I'll be wanting to learn about, about music contracts and all kind of shit. And he be having stories, like untold stories of hip hop. 